In addition to the very valid point made about mon monetary matters, Islamic banking is also fraudulent on another front. Nabi Muhammad would sometime buy goods and he would not have the money to pay for it. So the shopkeeper would give him time to pay. When you buy and you're given time to pay, this is called a credit transaction. Credit transaction. So a credit transaction is halal in Islam. But there is no evidence that the shopkeeper was allowed to raise his price because he had to wait for his money. And so credit price and cash price had to be the same. If credit price is higher than cash price, higher purchase or morabaha, if credit price is higher than cash price, the difference between the two would be because of time. That money can increase over time. If you believe that money can increase over time, you are misguided, dangerously misguided. Because Allah says, no, money cannot increase over time. That transaction is invalid. That is riba. But the Islamic banks, now they are beginning to understand that the tide is turning against them. So now they're back to the wall. But their so-called murabaha is not halal at all. It's actually riba through the back door. 